Hi there, Sifu Tommy here coming to you from Germany. If you hear an electric saw in the background, that's okay, please just focus on my voice. Now seriously, today it's about hitting at record speed. If you take a look at um, the Guinness Book of World Records, then you will see that the person holding the current record is a Wing Chun guy. And what does he do? Chain punches. However, chain punches are so slow. Every drummer could tell you exactly why that is. So what I would like to do today is I would like to introduce you into something that we call the Kunto, which is also known as the little boxing form. And this Kunto uh, consists of eight sets during which we practice the variety of uh, striking patterns and pretty much all of them are uh, faster than the regular chain punches that uh, every beginner performs. So what I would like to do today is I would like to introduce you into two of those sets and you can practice them at home let me know if you have any questions about those. And then I'm also going to give you some application ideas of how you can apply that in a real fight scenario. As usual, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do that here. And if you would like to learn more about what we do, subscribe to the online academy at wt-online.com. Let's get to it. Okay, so here's your hack on how to punch faster. Now, when you look at chain punches, that you count them, it's gonna be a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four pattern. Thing is just that in between the one and the two, there is an end, and you can also use this gap and fill it with a punch. Now, this time, instead of hitting in quarters, I want you to hit in trials by going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and that alone will make you so much faster. Here's an example for fast chain punches. And here's an example for fast trials. Already so much faster, right? So what I did here was one of the patterns I would like to teach to you today, which looks as follows. We punch one up, two below. One up, two below. One up, two below, one up, two below. Now, the thing you want to avoid is counting as such. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Instead, what I want you to do is to count in a flow by going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we focus on the number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Of course, you can also make it wider if you like. And then just go faster with it. So this was one of the two sets I wanted to show you. We strike on two levels. In the next set, we're actually going to use three levels that we're gonna hit on. We begin with the first, then the second, then the third, and we're always going to exchange our arms. Now, one of the reasons why chain punches are quote unquote so slow is because we always come in with the next arm over, uh, over the wrist of the, of the other arm. However, if one arm is stretched and the other one is lying underneath, it's so much faster to hit right away, obviously, rather than just bringing it up again. And this is what I'm gonna de demonstrate in the second set that I want to share with you. Now, we begin here on the top, then we attack the middle and then we go to the lower one. This could go to the throat, this could go to the solar plexus, while this one here attacks the bladder. And I always exchange my arms just as if I would apply normal chain punches. It's just that they, that they actually are being applied on three levels. So this is what it should look like. Now here's how you can strike 10 punches in a second. By using the striking pattern, using those trials, you're actually going to be able to go one, two, three, and one more <laughs> within one second. Now, of course, I hear the naysayers say, well, but these punches are not powerful. Well, I'll tell you what, these punches are being delivered with full force, with my body weight stepping in. I'm not just gonna stand here and punch like this. All of these are going to be stretched. All of these are gonna carry my body weight. So at least the first and the last one are going to be so powerful that you don't wanna stand there, especially if these punches are being delivered to the throat. You hear me panting? This is quite exhausting if you do this for a while, 
but I really want to encourage you to practice this. It's an amazing coordination training. It is a wonderful cardio training. You do a lot of things for your rhythm uh, skills. It's amazing. And you're going to get much better than I am because I'm not the fastest man in the world. But you can be. So I really encourage you, take some time and go ahead and practice this either with your, uh, your three-part pad that we have here, the wall bags, or with just a general pad. You just have a partner, hold it, and then you just strike in all these levels. And then I'm also going to show you of how you can use this in in a realistic scenario. Let's take a look at the first application. Well, he's going to attack me with three punches. He's, he's going to come in low, he's going to come in high, and then high again. And I will use the first pattern I showed you of going one, two, up, one, low, which is exactly the same thing we did before, just the other way around. Remember, you used to punch one, two, three. Now you're going to go one, two, three. So you can exchange them any way you like. That's the cool thing about it. Now, I'm going to apply those a couple of times. Sometimes you'll, you'll see me uh, apply punches, and other times you, you're going to see me apply open palms. Really, it depends on the um, severity of the situation, on how dangerous it really is. Let's take a look at it. The second application is going to require a little bit more skill from you, the practitioner. So what you want to do is you attack him with a Paxal punch. You'll see that this is going to be the top level punch that you do. Afterward, you clear the way with what we call a Toxal. So we just bring the arm up to the side, we swipe it to the side and upward. And then we use a Guatzal to keep that arm out of the way as we strike low. So we have the high, the medium and the low punch there. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Always together with a supporting technique. All right, guys, I hope this has given you some valuable advice. Have fun training, and remember, martial arts training is personal development training. Become the best Wing Chun practitioner you can be, and I'll see you in the next video.